So today, Ryan underscore Conway7 wants us to talk about the youth soccer system in America. Shout out to you, Ryan. Thanks, Thanks for Ryan. the uh, topic submission. And if you it's want to really submit your topic, uh, you can leave it in the comments below. DM us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Yep. Uh, just hit us up on social media. You can email it to social media at playwatchware.com. Mm-hmm. So a ton of different ways you can can get in contact with us, and we'll we'll uh, give you a shout-out if we pick your topic for the week. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> shout-out to you, Ryan. All right. So what are your thoughts? On the- <laughs> boy, oh boy. Here we go. Sorry, uh, just- buckle in. This is a doozy. Uh, where do we even begin with this? Because this is like, there's a lot to this. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to get to everything, obviously. Yeah. That could be a two-day podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a, a 10-part ESPN 30 for 30 <laughs> exactly. documentary. Exactly. So we'll give our, let's just, let's keep it simple. Yeah. Give a brief uh, overview of what we think. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I was, it's, it's not good. Yeah, tell you no. that it's not yeah it's, it's real chaotic and there's no like streamlined system yeah or there's no system at all really yeah it's just there yeah. <laughs> like you just play everything it. is completely independent mm-hmm. you've got all these leagues everywhere it's like if you asked a squirrel to create a <laughs> the youth soccer system yeah and, like you went up to a squirrel with rabies in your backyard oh, and you were like hey uh, I need you to create the youth soccer system. Yeah. And the squirrel was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And, and then, then boom. boom. That's what you get. Yeah. I, I like that analogy, it, actually. Uh, it good. makes sense. <laughs> good. I was real worried. Uh, <laughs> did not think through that at all. Yeah, no, that makes total so, sense, actually. Yeah, but it's like everything's independent. Mm-hmm. So you've got, like, there's no way to, like, progress up, up. The, like the lat like the yeah it's yeah. like you've got a you it's really on you yeah to like find your way yeah uh like so like i know when i was playing back in my day uh five ten no twelve years ago mm. um yes. you know i was uh a, a wee lad <laughs> um and playing at ptfc and like you had your you had Challenge, Classic. Mm, yeah. Uh, above that was Premier. Yeah. And then above that was Region, Region 3. Region 3. Mm. Um, and then you had College. And then you Professional System. Yeah. Right? So the goal, like, the goal was to play professionally. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, but I don't think the youth system in the U.S. is it's, built. Yeah, it's not set up for that. Yeah, it's not set up no. to get you to the pros. Mm-mm. It's set up to get your money. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty it's much. It's like however much you can pay is the level that you'll play at. Pay to win. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of it when it works for me. Yeah. <laughs> but when I, no. When it works against me, it's no. Terrible. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah. I hate it so much. Yeah. <laughs> Everything uses that model, and, and I it's, cannot stand yeah, it. Yeah. It's so bad. So so many players slip through the cracks because of that reason alone. Because they can't afford to play. Yeah, and yeah. it shouldn't be like that. No. Um, if you're good enough, you should, you should play. There should be a way for you yeah. to play. And then I'd like... Because like we're never going to compete Yeah, no. Uh, at the national level until these players stop putting through the cracks so much. Yeah. Um, so it, it... Yeah, everything's just too separate. Yeah. And there's no... Like, you know, in Europe, you play for, like, the youth academy mm-hmm. for like whatever club like manchester united or yeah. tottenham like whatever yeah. it is like yeah. you play for the tottenham youth academy yeah like, from the ground up yeah and you as if you're good enough you stay in and you work your way up through then you get to the uh first team eventually if yeah. you can get you know if you're playing at that level yeah and yeah, then it might not work out for you if at that club, but you're being scouted the whole time. Exactly. Because there's a cohesive system on how to progress and advance forward. Uh, and, and here you got to you do your own scouting, essentially. Yeah. You're responsible for sending your tapes to all these coaches and all these different leagues yeah. all over the country. And that's another state by state. Yeah. It's completely Lately different. different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you, you're trying to go to another state, oh, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. You better have sent... A whole bunch of clips. Yeah. And, like, had meetings and conversations with the coaches over there. Because if not, you're done. It's not going to. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Um, 
I don't know. It's just, it's hard to think that they're just focusing like on the kids, like trying to play and just progress. Right. Because there's so many other things going on outside. It's like sometimes right. like it's about who you know and you know oh, not yeah. how good you are. And yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. what's the point of That's some kids the... even playing if you know the person that knows like. I don't know, like the chairman or whoever, the club director is <laughs> right. gonna, you know, get more favoritism than them. So right. it's like, and I'm sure that exists yeah. elsewhere. But I just, you know, we're here, we see it firsthand. Yeah. I feel like it's it's a lot worse here. Yeah. Just from my experience, obviously, playing and seeing, uh, you know, coming up through my career. Yeah, I think I I mean I would agree with you because I've seen it, you know, at, certainly at some of the clubs I play that. Um, to me, I really find it more in like the bigger ones. Yeah. More so than the small ones because right. you know, it's not a lot of people. You're kind of a family. You know area. everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But when you go to the bigger ones, it's where you kind of like see that kind of stuff. And then when I was playing, we had you know like you said the challenge, classic, premier, region yeah. three, and then ECNL, and now you have oh, like DA that kind of runs a little bit parallel to ECNL. more yeah. independent leagues. Yeah. That you have to get yeah. Yep. And then there's no there's no promotion relegation. So well, I know in mine like we could get well, promoted yeah. to uh, like we were playing classic. You could get promoted to premier. premier. You could get promoted to region yeah. three. But then it stops there, and it's a, like mm-hmm. you're, that's it. Yeah. So it doesn't go on to like you know oh well then you get into this league. Well then that's the yep. pathway to the colleges, yep. and then you get to the colleges, and then you got yeah. a pathway to the pros. It's not. And don't even get me started on the draft, the, <laughs> the MLS draft, because that's a thing, you know. We draft players. <laughs> you know, let's just draft some players. There's certain things that just don't translate. Then drafting is not one when, of them. Mm-mm. Yep. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. That should be left for basketball, football, <laughs> but drafting. The American sports. Yeah. Yes. Drafting, like, actual football players is not something that should be allowed no nah, it just doesn't translate it doesn't work the same no. on paper i understand it but yeah that, it doesn't work in the sport no yeah <laughs> it, just, it just does not work at all it's it's weird because it's like i wonder what other countries think about yes. country doing the draft yeah it's like well that's a very interesting take on you know <laughs> what they're doing i'm sure they, they probably don't even know that it's a thing yeah. because are you it's not like it's not a big deal yeah it's not like I don't I don't know if it's televised. I right. don't know when the MLS draft is. Yeah. I have no idea when that is. Yeah, I can either Or how like, many players get drafted, right. how many rounds, how it works. Right. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. No idea. <laughs> it it makes zero sense to me too. I, I I don't know. It was just when I saw that I was just like I'm just not sure like if this is okay, if this should be allowed, like yeah. someone needs to put a stop to this. What are we doing? Yeah, like Help, please. Do you you feel like your soccer career was hindered because of the system? Um, Or do you feel like you (laughs) probably would have got to the level that you got at anyway? Um, I'll say part of it would be, and then part of it not so much. More so like the film side of things. Oh, okay. Because, you know, like we didn't have enough money to get a camera. So access to scouting. Yeah. You were basically denied that yeah especially in high school yeah there's like this i think we had this like max preps i'm pretty sure you heard of it what maxpreps.com uh it's oh like, to like the yeah, scouting thing where you yeah. go in and put your info in to get scouted and stuff yeah yeah yeah. i mean i feel like that alone i would have if we put like the numbers i was doing in high school in i'd you know <laughs> been you know Somewhere well, that, else that, than I That's am another now. thing. You've got high school and club. Yeah. Separate. Yeah. Whereas, like, you know, in Europe, you wouldn't play for your high school if you were good enough. Right. Like, you wouldn't play for your school. You right. would just play for the academy. And they'll have the education they're like. And you yeah. are also in school at the same time, and they give you the education yeah. and they give you the resources you need to succeed. Yeah. Whereas here, it's like, yeah, you got to pay for everything. Yeah. <laughs> if high you want to do it, you got to pay for your own scouting and equipment right. <laughs> to record Cleats, the gameplay. Uniform. Yeah. Socks, mm-hmm. the van. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but yeah, they they get the picture. It's yeah. pretty much everything you had to pay for. Yeah, yeah. But I um, I mean, other than that, probably not. I mean, I had good. I had a good experience in yeah. soccer. So I think I from the start would the access to play. Okay. Like I, my elementary school had a soccer team. Okay. But like. I mean, that's just a rec team that you play yeah. at when you're five. Everyone plays that, right? Yeah. So, like, past that, 
there was really nothing until like uh like eight nine years old okay and then like there was a local challenge team that we could play in but we were having to travel 45 minutes to get a game because there's no local teams we were the only team in the area so then yeah so it just the accessibility to play okay was a big issue for like getting started once i got to a certain age it was fine but to get started and that's the most important Important. part yeah to get started yeah yeah because if you don't get started then you just yeah if you don't start till you're 15 right uh, i mean sure there's some players that can do that that, but but i think their natural ceiling is a lot higher yeah than than if you start at like six or five or whatever yeah Yeah. imagine if those players would have started playing when they were like seven they'd be a messy level you know right that's very interesting I yeah. guess because I'm like, obviously I'm like, I'm from Charlotte. So everywhere you went, there was a club to play for. Right. So hearing that, it was like, I was like that's very interesting to me. Yeah, if you're not from a city, yeah. like a, a major city, then like your access to play at a young age is right. Right. zero almost. Right. Yeah. And that is very interesting. Yeah. I think it's how driven you are as a kid. And then honestly, how good you are. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because I think that's what's going to matter you going to the next level. The only reason I want to challenge is because... I had a scout at a game when I was playing rec that saw me. Our coach. (laughs) Our coach at the rec level was going out and watching the other rec teams to then put together a team with all the best rec players that could then go and play in the challenge league. Oh, I mean, hey. That's the only reason we played at the level we played at was because our coach took it upon himself to take time out of his weekend and weeknights to go out and watch these other clubs Mm -hmm. or teams for the school. And then he put together that team from that. It's yeah. a clever man. But 99% of the <laughs> kids did not have a coach like that. Right. So they couldn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, I think it's uh, very hard, like, once you start rec to to get out of it, unless you go and try out for the challenge team. Right. Which, uh, which I did. But I sometimes there's but... an age limit on those. Right. Where you can't I, try I, out. I really, I mean, I hate to be that dude, but I think it really just depends on skill. Because whenever I was, like, coaching little kids and I was in high school, mm-hmm. I would see some kids, and I'm like, I would just go up to the parents afterwards and be like, yo, like, like your kid, like, he doesn't need to be here anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, like, he, needs, he should move up to a, a little bit higher league where yeah. mm-hmm. he, it could actually benefit him more. But then yeah. again, you have to pay to do that. So they have to be able to afford to pay at that, at that level, yeah. yeah.